night. It's me, Trish, and I wanted to do a quick little video just on what I'm spinning. I wouldn't call it a tutorial because I don't feel qualified to teach anyone anything, but I had a different spinning project picked out, and I saw this video by Mary from Kamage Fiber Arts where she created a confetti cake bat by using soft silk, which is a product that she sells in her shop. It's dyed different colors. And when I saw her tutorial on making the bat, I really wished that I could see it spun up and also knit or woven or crocheted into a project, or at least a swatch. And sometimes I have that when I watch those tutorials about making bats or roving and that kind of thing. I just really wish I could see the whole process. So I decided to try it for you. I ordered um, all the colors that she has in her shop. She had four colors at the time, but the one I used was this one. It's called, sorry about the bag, Holy. And um, it's kind of a theme for me right now. It's got the colors of Holy Festival in India. So it is so, 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 so pretty. And I blended it on my drum carter with a fleece that I actually process myself. It is a BFL Romney cross, but it is a lamb fleece. So it's quite short and it's easier to run through the drum carter. Sometimes longer fleeces don't do the best in the drum carter. So I recorded the process of making a bat. I've actually made two bats. I'm gonna actually show, I'm gonna show you that video and tell you what I found out. Um, and then I'll show you the bat at the end. I think it was a really interesting process for me. And since I didn't start with top blending the silk, top to blend the silk with, my process is very slightly different than Mary's, but um, I also want to tell you what I think of the product at the end. But I bought these with my own money. Obviously, I'm just starting out and she's not um, sponsoring me. But I will say this, whatever color she comes out with in the future, I will buy them all. So please stick with me if you want to see how to do this and I'll see you at the end. So you can see there's already a layer of wool on this carter. And I'm gonna open up my soft silk. It is the color Holy. And I'm showing you the card. That's Kamaj Fiber Arts. You can't read it because I am the worst at lighting ever. So I'm gonna pull some out and I'm actually gonna try to get a few different colors. And then I'm gonna kind of fluff it up because I don't want it to be all clumpy as it pulls onto the drum. You're gonna actually see me paint it directly on the drum here. And I'm trying to kind of get it all over and spread out, even though I will end up running this through the carter two more times to just really get it dispersed throughout the bat really nicely. Again, I'm just kind of fluffing it up because I don't want it to be all clumpy. But don't worry too much if it seems like you have a lot in one spot because when you run this back through, it's just going to spread all around and be beautiful just the way you want it. So I'm going to go ahead now and throw some more wool on. I did run that fleece through the carter one time prior to this just to smooth it out a little. You're going to see me spread it out with my hands and also sometimes I stop and draft back a little. You're really going to have a better time with your drum carter if you put it through very thinly. I mean you can see what I'm doing. I'm pulling, I'm drafting it back and spreading it out so it'll be all over. Pretty much as soon as I get enough wool on that silk, um, I will go ahead and put another layer of silk on. But I wanted what I did was do a whole bat and split it into four parts. About half of it is on right now. And again, I'm going to paint another layer. You can see I'm reaching in there because I want to make sure I get some of the silk, or I'm sorry, some of the pink. And so it was not right on the top and I wanted to get a mix of the different colors. So I'm gonna go ahead again and paint another layer on. This is super fun for me. I don't know if everybody's into this, but the reason why you paint it right directly on the card 
I'm sorry, on the drum is because if you were to try to just use the liquor in um, through the tray, the way I put the wool on, tons of it would just stick on the liquor because it is so short and you would just end up taking it off anyway. So if you paint it on the drum, you also get just a little bit more control with the way that you spread it out and that's kind of nice. I definitely like a little more control about the way I spread it out. All right, so I guess I'm done. <laughs> Gonna go ahead and take off that bat. So you saw I put 25% on between the layers of silk and then I put another 25% on after. And that's actually gonna kind of encase the silk and keep it from sticking in the drums all over the place, which is really nice. So it's not a problem getting it out, but the fibers again are so short that the wool pulls off the carter much more easily than the silk does. So now you're gonna see me, I'm gonna split this in half. And the reason I do it lengthwise, Sometimes when I card, I actually do it in layers when I'm running it back through. But if you do it lengthwise like this, you will get a better blend because you're actually going to spread out like that whole sort of section and layer those sections on top of each other. But what I do is split it in half, split each half in half again, and then each of those four pieces goes through the carter. I don't have to worry quite as much about getting it in there um, more thinly, but you can see I'm still drafting a little bit just to not gum up the carter. And if you try to throw too much in there at once, you will get like big clumps stuck on your on your liquor in drum and who, nobody needs that. I don't like to have to clean those things off a million times, so I just try to keep it off of there to begin with if I can. Um, this stuff does not have shortcuts in it, and it is just really beautiful wool. So I really didn't have tons of problems with that. But I, I really hate picking all those little its and bits and whatever off my drum carter, so I try to keep them off. You can already see on the drum it is blending, and it's looking pretty. This is probably one of my favorite projects I've ever done, and I normally am not an art yarn person at all. I still don't, I don't consider this an art yarn. To me, this is more of a tweed, and tweed is classic, okay? Tweed is classic. It doesn't matter if the colors are a birthday cake. It doesn't matter. Tweed, you can't go wrong with tweed. You can make a whole suit out of this. Actually, don't. Don't make a whole suit out of this. That's crazy. I uh, just actually, after this was all done, went back on the website and they had just updated and put a whole bunch of new colors on and I was so excited. I bought six more or five more colors. I can't even remember. That's how excited I was. It's I like blanked it out of my memory. So you can see as I take this off, it is more spread out, but it isn't as spread out as I want it to be. I really want to break apart those little itty bitty silk clusters and get them all spread out throughout the wool. So I did run it through one more time and I love to drum card. I love to process. So for me, this is like no problem. Fine. Love it. But I understand that not everybody wants to do this job. I'm telling you, it was worth it. Even if you don't love doing this for this project, in my opinion, it was worth it. I cannot wait to do a different color with a different color of, a different, sorry, different color of wool with a different color of silk. I know that it's gonna be a completely different effect and it's just gonna be also beautiful. So, you can see I did the same thing again, just separated it into four pieces and went ahead and run each one in. I'm drafting them to try and get a really smooth bat at this point because the smoother, the easier it's going to be to spin. I am totally in love with these bats. I'm going to do like eight ounces of them. Uh, I thought I would save them for kids' sweaters because I thought like for a baby sweater, is this not the cutest idea? Maybe with like a little flower embroidered on it or I don't know, for a boy, maybe a little elephant? I don't know. 
Ooh, and I should say, this drum carter, it is an Ashford. It has, I believe, 80 TPI, if I'm not mistaken, which makes it a very good for medium weight. But honestly, I've carted fine. I've carted coarse on this thing. And this thing will do anything and make a beautiful bat. I'm so happy with this drum carter. All right, so I'm taking the final bat off of there. I like to run the doper stick between the teeth just to start all that stuff coming off. All right, now you're going to get a look. Oh, yeah. Is that beautiful or what? Look at that. Wait till you see it spun. So that is how I made this bat. It is beautiful. Isn't that pretty? I really also have enjoyed spinning it, but I'm going to actually make a separate video on the spinning just so that I don't, don't take up too much time. And some people will want to see the spinning, but they won't care about the bat creation. So um, I hope you come back and join me for the spinning video. I'm also going to show a picture of the knitted swatch all completely done. I wanted to make sure that during this process you actually got to see what it looks like knitted up into a finished, it's not an object, just into a swatch, but at least you can see the fabric. So thanks for joining me and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!